So, the elephant in the room, these two beautiful guitars. We'll get to this one in a minute, but tell us tell us about okay. this. Obviously, you know, you and I met, you know, from your long standing, you know, time for the Gibson Company and as a builder yourself and I mean you were you were kind of the uh, the magic man for many decades over there. They they sent you in like the like the sniper to, to do cool stuff, you know. Gibson so, has been wonderful to my family and to me and I'm so happy. So, so, so this, I mean, you got to do a lot of really cool passion oh, yeah. projects over the years, but I imagine this is, holds a very special place in your heart. When Scotty turned 80, I was like, what do you give Scotty more for a birthday present? So I thought, let's build his guitar. Yeah. I got a chance to look at the original. Mm -hmm. So we recreated, without aging, is 1952 ES 295. Um, and to get the bridge, they're not available anymore. Nope. Scotty, the original wraparound was, you couldn't tune it right. Right. So he put that bridge on it. Mm -hmm. and Typical Scotty. I actually, Fender owns that. Or they oh, had, really? I, I called a buddy of Fender. I said, look, this is really weird. I said, I'm yeah. going to need. 82 of these. <laughs> and, and he was like, Scotty, they sold them to us. That's awesome. But, so we we did his one guitar for his birthday. Mm -hmm. And I tell you, you know, you don't know if you're doing the right thing or not. But I had it backstage, we had it yeah. engraved. And Gail came back and I said, Gail, I said, you haven't seen what we're giving. The, lo the love of his life, if oh, those she who don't know. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. But I said, before it goes on, I said, you need to know this is his present from Gibson. Yeah. And I took the cloth off and she just, it was, it was one of those touching moments. Yeah. She just sort of touched it and cried. So I'm like, okay, this will work. <laughs> and also, you know, just to sort of like, you know, again, folks, like sort of to bring the personal touch into it. It's like, you know, Scotty was, you know, out of the Navy. He was, he lived in an incredibly modest home in Memphis, worked as dry cleaners, um, and played, you know, essentially for the fun of it, you know, as a young man, as a young man in his 20s, who's married. Um, and so when he, when he got his, his 295, um, it's not like it was not like it is today where even guys who I would say are semi-pro have multiple guitars and multiple amplifiers. Like well, it's, no, it's part of culture. Back then, you had one thing if you were lucky. And, and he started. He had a telly before this. He traded yeah, it in. Traded you it in. You didn't just collect it when he wanted something new. The old right, one. Right. Exactly. It. So it's like to have this come back to him like that all those years later. You know, I'm sure was a was a very you know beautiful thing you know because it's it's because that's what changed his life so anyway this this particular one found its way into your hands it was a gift from gibson to me mm -hmm. a christmas present mm -hmm. and since it's a 52 replica this is 52 of 81 <laughs> i thought that was very nice very cool um but it was funny sometimes to do an artist deal you know, you have to talk to lawyers and managers. Right. It can be complex. Right, right. But when I thought, I thought, you know, we should do a limited run. Mm -hmm. And 80, <clears throat> by the time we got around to it, he was 81, so I thought, we'll do 81. Mm -hmm. So I just, we made one. Yeah. I came home for the weekend from mm -hmm. Memphis. I called him up on a Sunday, and I would do it once in a while. I said, you know, say, Scotty, put on the coffee. <laughs> yeah. And I went over and I had a prototype. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And we opened it up, and he said, what's that? I said, that's going to be your limited run. And by the way, you're going to sign every one. And he said, oh, no, I'm not. <laughs> and luckily, Gail was standing there, and she just looked at him and said, oh, yes. You oh, are. yes, you are. <laughs> <laughs> Done. And we did, we had 30 belt, we had a party in Memphis, mm -hmm. and he signed them there, and mm -hmm. it was great. Uh, somewhere in here, I've got a picture of him signing one. Wonderful. Yeah, there's a, there's a lot of pictures and other things that even yeah. go with everything that you see. There. But, and then, so for the rest of them, every, you know, we'd get six, eight, ten of them done. I'd just put them in my car, mm -hmm. drive home for the weekend. <laughs> He'd put on the coffee, and we'd line them up, and he'd sign the guitars. Awesome. <laughs> and I'd drive back to Memphis. <laughs> oh, that's fantastic. <laughs> so that's, uh, that's a story that represents that. that. Right on.